Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Mystic Rose and I'm so happy to have y'all here with me today as we explore the topic of who has a major crush on you and why and we're going to be getting into all of the fun details including exact names and I'll be doing spirit talk at the end so stay tuned for that and so welcome and if you're new here please be sure to take a moment to hit that subscribe button the like button if you like this video and do be sure to leave me a comment that always helps me to know if this kind of topic is for you if you enjoyed it and if these messages resonate with you it's so important for me to be able to know that and it just helps me as a reader so thank you so much to all of you who always leave your very sweet comments and positivity i truly appreciate it and thank you to my channel members and my Patreon members. I appreciate your patience as I've been trying to work with the Patreon tech team to incorporate new layers into my already pre-existing two tiers. I have two tiers and now I have three more tiers or layers on top of that. So there's gonna be a total of five different packages. And I did this because I wanted to give my viewers options and different price packages so that you can choose whatever suits your budget or your needs. So definitely be sure to check it out if you want a fun 18 plus tarot pick a card readings or even I have some tier levels that are just focusing on general messages and you get to vote on the topic so it's kind of neat to be able to have that there's even one tier where i'm going to be going live once a week and you get to tune in with a special one-on-one -on -one session with me live i have another tier level where i will be going live in a group setting for all of you who are in that level or that tier and i'll be doing a live reading for you all and it's going to feel very much like a personal rating because it's so new and there aren't a lot of members in there right now. So just keep that in mind. And I'm really looking forward to implementing that this coming week and for the weeks to come. It's just an exciting time for my Patreon. Also, um, I just wanted to say I appreciate you and I hope that you enjoyed today's topic all about who's crushing on you and what kinds of compliments do they want to give you and that'll be a bonus for my subscribers so definitely be sure to hit subscribe so that you can be included in that bonus i will be channeling your energy so it's not too late to be considered as part of that subscriber base all you have to do is press the subscribe button and automatically you'll be in and i'll be able to channel your energy so Thank you, thank you so, so much to all of you. I truly do love and appreciate each and every one of you so much. Without your love and support, I wouldn't even be able to do this. So I'm ever so grateful. Let's go ahead and get started with today's tarot pick a card reading. All about who has a major crush on you and why, and as a bonus, for my subscribers as my way to say thank you we'll be taking a look at the compliments that they wish that they could tell you let's get started hello and welcome to your gemstone selection for pile one we have black obsidian for pile two we have clear crystal quartz and for pile three, we have light green aventurine. So go ahead and think about which of the piles you're drawn to. I say piles because there could be more than one that you're drawn to. So if that's the case, that means there may be multiple messages for you in there. So feel free to choose however many you feel you know drawn to. And also do remember my bonus for subscribers. It's not too late to be considered. As part of that, all you have to do is hit subscribe and I'll be able to channel your energy. And I'm going to be going over, um, so I'll be going over who's crushing on you. And then as a bonus, it'll be uh, at the end of the reading, you can go to the timestamps and click on subscriber bonus and it'll take you right there. It's going to be a collective for my subscribers all about the compliments that 
your person who's crushing on you or people because there could be more than one the compliments that they really want to give to you okay so definitely be sure to check that out as soon as you are done watching your pile or piles all right let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card reading all about who has a major crush on you and why Hello, if you chose image one or this black obsidian gemstone, you're in the right place for today's tarot pick card reading all about who has a crush on you and why. So we'll be getting into all the details at the end. I'm going to be laying down letter tiles and channeling names and rolling astro dice and charms and everything like that. And that'll be the confirmation segment that I know that many of you enjoy. All right, so I'm going to head. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get connected with spirit, and then we will begin on today's reading, all about who has a major crush on you. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile one. All about the question at hand, and spirit, please speak through me as you always do, and please bring in light, peace, positivity, and protection into this space. Thank you, spirit. All right, I see that my candle went out, so I'm going to go ahead and light another candle. Okay, so Spirit, who is this person who is crushing, or who are these people? Because there could be more than one on my pile one collective here. I was just hearing spicy, so whoever this is has a lot of... Whoa! A lot of spicy thoughts about you. And then we've got here, Six of Pentacles. Okay, this could be somebody that you've known for quite a while. Sometimes that can be indicative of soulmate type of energy or somebody who feels very strongly that they are your soulmate. Seven of Cups. It seems like this person, whoever this is, so far I'm getting just the energy of one person in particular. They have a lot of options when it comes to love and romance. But they've definitely got their eyes set upon you. We have the strength. So this person could very well be into physical fitness. Maybe they work out. They take good care of their body. I just heard body, mind, and soul. This person is somebody who just seems to exhibit a lot of strength. Six of Wands. This person could be one of those people that likes to give verbal compliments or they like to also receive verbal compliments and praise. Yeah, so if you're interested in knowing more about the particular comments or compliments that they want to give you, definitely hit subscribe and watch my subscribers bonus because that's going to be all about the compliments that this person would like to give to you. So, all right, Spirit, can you help me to clarify these cards here? We have the world. So this person thinks you literally are the cat's meow. You're the best. The best of the best. You basically embody everything that they could ever want in a person. As far as the looks department and your personality, your aura. Six of Wands. So that's funny. We got that actually twice. Six of Wands here and Six of Wands here. It says you're kind of a big deal. So start acting like it. You have a lot of admirers actually. You have a lot of admirers that are people that are all genders. You even have friends that think that you're beautiful. You could have um, same sex friends that think you're attractive. You definitely have a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer, Sun, Moon or, or Ascendant individual here, or that could be you, who is, you know, coming through here. So this person is very in touch with their emotions and also they are somebody who is sometimes like they may even seem psychic like naturally very psychic 
And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, which can be indicative of somebody who's an earth sign. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, somebody who's a hard worker. And I really do think like this person likes compliments and they also like to, um, they like to give and receive compliments. So they're verbal affirmers. This person could even be a friend. They could be somebody who has you in a friend type of zone right now, but they look to you like eye candy. That's what I'm seeing here. They kind of like to just, in they enjoy looking at you. This person or you could be very attractive because energy can go both ways. So these cards might describe you or the person who's crushing on you. We have beautiful of average height. So you or, or this person who's crushing on you could be average height. So not too tall, not too short, but just right. Seems like average height. Either you have long hair or the person who's crushing on you could have long hair. It doesn't matter the color. Straight hair. Okay, so you or this person could have straight hair. Freckles. So you or this person who's crushing on you could have freckles. Even if they just draw them on, if they're not natural, they could even either be natural freckles or drawn on. Or even like tattoos or something. Because sometimes like nowadays I know people have like the tattoo freckles. Mmm, handsome. We've got handsome. So the person who finds you to be attractive and is crushing on you is beautiful or handsome. This person could have brown eyes or that could even be you. And I was hearing hazel. So you or this person could have brown or hazel eyes. Oh my gosh, look at this. Hazel. And we got on the trimmer side. So you or this person could be on the trimmer side. Somebody here could have a beard. That could be you or the person that's crushing on you could have a beard. And I'm just going to get a couple more. Fair-skinned. So you or this person could be fair-skinned. And blonde hair. So you or this person could have, like, blonde hair. Okay. All right. When I split the deck, what the card that came out was this one bald so this person could be bald or wear glasses and that's a person who has a crush on you or there could be more than one person here too very interesting all right but yeah this person you got to remember this person has a lot of options when it comes to love because they're very attractive why is this person crushing on my pile number one. I'll find out why, and then we'll get more into the who, okay? Why are they crushing on my pile one spirit? We got last spill the tea, last selfie, okay. Oh, wow. We've got La Internship. Okay, this could be like a coworker. That's somebody here has a coworker that looks like they like to watch you when you're working, but not in a creepy way, just like admiring you. Like I said, eye candy. Somebody thinks you're eye candy. But I do think that for many of you, this could be somebody at your workplace. This could be somebody who. It's like they might find an excuse to come up to talk to you. And it could be just any anything, even if it's like a silly little reason. And maybe they know they're being obvious. This person just, I think that they think you're really attractive because we have the selfie, which is a woman taking pictures of herself. This person could even be looking at photographs of you. This person could secretly want to have like a picture taken with you. I think that they think that the two of you would make a really cute couple. We have the last spill the tea, which means that like this person may like to talk to you and like hear you just spill the tea or like maybe they like to talk to you or communicate with you and hear whatever you have to say. 
We have L Zoom. So for some of you, you've seen this person over Zoom or FaceTime or something like that. You see, we have this girl at her computer. So yeah, that's what that tells me. You could have connected with this person online or they see you via Zoom. This could be literally like somebody who doesn't live in your area. They maybe don't live in the same town as you. We have the middle part. You could have a middle part where, you know, you might wear your hair parted down the middle like that, or this person does. We have L Minecraft. This person could like to play games, you know, video games or something like that. You could have also met this person in like a video game chat room or something like that. And we have L Vintage. Maybe you or this person likes to collect vintage things or likes to wear like styles that have kind of gone out of style like 90s style you know or 70 1970s style or even pinup fashion or whatever and then we have crocs um some of y'all like to wear crocs when you know you're just maybe schlepping around the house or whatever or maybe crocs are your go-to i don't know but there's definitely crocs here maybe this person wears crocs and that's how you're going to be able to know like exactly who that is i'm not sure but and then let's go ahead and see if we can find more physical descriptors. So spirit, how else would you describe this person or these people who are crushing on my file one? Wow, we've got Leo here with like, he's kind of an older gentleman with like darker skin. So this person could have dark skin or be older than you. Could have a mustache. And then we've got Joe. Um, bald with glasses, see? So that person's coming through again. This person could be bald with glasses. Their name could be Joe. And uh, again, yeah, a mustache. Then we have David. Your name could be David or the person that is crushing on you could be David. Or maybe they like to wear a baseball cap. Again, a mustache. I can't believe they all have mustaches. So this person could definitely have facial hair. Blonde, brown, or even gray hair. Okay, black hair. It's coming through here. And then we have Katie. Katie is wearing a baseball cap too. So yeah, this person might like to enjoy to wear hats or that could be you who enjoys wearing hats. Maybe you like to wear your hair in a ponytail or this person likes to wear their hair in like a high ponytail. And the blue eyes are really standing out to me too as so, so pretty. If this person has blue eyes, they are very, very gorgeous eyes or that could be your energy. Okay, let's go ahead and see um, why this person likes you. Why else does this person like my pile of one? Why are they crushing on them? Wow, they think that you are captivating. They love your style. They love your natural beauty. They love your elegance your grace even the way that you look at this person they just think that you stepped right out of a, a catalog that you looked like you could be i was hearing like angel in the centerfold you look like you could be a model this person could also think that you're a hard worker and that you look like you're kind of wealthy you look like you're taking good care of yourself your style is really, really great. It could be very unique or maybe you're very trendy, but you have great style and it really shines. And this person thinks that you are very stylish. This person also thinks that you're very strong. They admire that about you, your strength. You could have a very strong body. You might work out or you just look very physically fit. And this person definitely notices your body. They love your body. They think you're elegant. You have like a elegance about you, the way that you wear your clothes like you just look great and everything but especially when you're going for that va va boom factor it's like wow you really know how to dress up you really know how to stand out in a crowd if you want to if you tried to blend in i don't think you could very well that's what i'm getting because you're very very beautiful looking you could also have a quirky sense of humor or quirky sense of style or something quirky about your personality that this person just thinks is adorable and i was hearing fun too this person thinks you're a lot of fun 
this person thinks that a lot of people like you and that you get a lot of attention or that you should be getting a lot of attention because you're very beautiful and this person actually thinks that you belong on some kind of pedestal being adored. They like your uniqueness. You could like to wear head wraps or something like that on your head. They like your style, whatever it is that you're doing from the little accessories that you're choosing to wear and all that because it really says a lot about you as a person. This one got flipped around. These two both got flip, flipped around. This person likes your curviness. If you're a curvy woman, not all of you are, but if you are, this person likes your curviness. And what they really like about you is that you have a very accepting personality and you're very open. I just heard I wouldn't trade you for the world. Like this person is really, really crazy over you. <laughs> I'm hearing that Madonna song, crazy for you. Touch me once and you know it's true. This person is having all kinds of thoughts about you, okay? And you and them together, okay? And they're, they're quite the daydreamer. They could even have Pisces in their chart. Because I was picking up a lot of Pisces energy too. I wouldn't be surprised if we got Pisces when I roll the dice. I really wouldn't be surprised. But um, even if we don't, I'm just really feeling that. I'm really feeling that from spirit that... You know, you or this person could have Pisces. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cast some charms and put out letter tiles and roll the astro dice and do all those fun confirmations that I know that many of you enjoy. And I'll be, yeah, channeling names so it'll be lots of fun. Spirit, help me to choose out the correct letter tiles for my pile one that'll reveal either their initials or their personal or last name or the person that they're thinking could have a crush on them, their first, middle, or last name. Or help me to say the name, Spirit, aloud so that they know loud and clear who this person is. Now, if I say a name of a family member or somebody that's like, you know, just a friend, um, you know, or somebody that... You just, you don't want to hear. Just know that that's extra confirmation, okay? Literally. Well, I can't promise that a friend doesn't have a crush on you. Because for some of you, I was hearing loud and clear from spirit that some of you do have a friend that wants to be more than a friend. And that could be them. So look for uh, their name or initials in the tiles, okay, to be confirmation. Plus, I might roll the astro dice and reveal their big three. Sun, moon, or ascendant. Or because energy goes both ways, I may reveal something about you. I'm going to be doing spirit talk too, so that'll be so much fun. I want to see what kinds of images or words come through with spirit talk. I'd like to incorporate some psychic drawing into today's spirit talk as well, so... Overall, I'm excited to see what spirit brings through with the spirit talk segment because that's a lot of fun too. Okay, so I'll explain that when we get a little closer to doing that. But right now what I'm doing is laying down the letter tiles and you will just look for your name or, or somebody who you think has a crush on you, their name in here or initials. And I'm going to start channeling names, okay? I'm going to go ahead and do that. And... Like I said, if I say a family member's name or something like that, well, just let she, let that be known that this is just confirmation for you, that this is definitely your correct pile. Okay, I was hearing Daphne, Jarvis, Adrian, Brooklyn, Baxter, Nala, Nala, Alex, Ashton, Asher, Vinny, Vincent, Violet, Bella, Mary, Marie, Fabrizio, Cash, Winston, Lauren, 
Lani. Terry. Wilton? Maybe that's a last name, Wilton. Terrell. Thaddeus. Zaya. That's a pretty name, Zaya. Zion. Zebediah. Hero. Houston. Shyla. That's a pretty name, Shyla. I've never heard that before. Shyla. Rylan. Jay. Jalen. Letty. Lottie. Dottie. Dot. Rita. Wolf. That's a cool name. Wolf. That could even be a nickname. Layton or Clayton. Ginny. Lacey. Lucy. Isabel. Ginger. Lita. Britta. I'm going to move these over here just a bit so I can make room for spirit talk because I'm going to get a piece of paper. Um, Cirilla. And I'm just going to say a few more names. Brenna. That was a Libra. I just bumped it. Libra, Libra. So we got Libra twice, so I'll roll it again. Gemini. So we got Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Virgo. Six and eight, so August 6th, or it could be a birthday that's important here. Um, June 8th, or basically any birthday that falls on the 8th or the 6th, or an August birthday, or June birthday, okay? And some more names that are coming through would be Ainsley, Alanis, Alberta, Alberto, Trayvon, Trevor, Dixie, Dickie, Ferdinand, Elvira, Finley, Fox, Dyson, Darren, Ace, Abbott, Topaz and Timothy. Bambi. That's a cool name. Bambi. Barnaby. Barnaby, by, that might even be a last name. Barnaby. Brindy. Brenda. Nanette. And Brogan. I love that name, Brogan, but I've never heard that before, but I was hearing it from Spirit. Brogan. And Rogan. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to get ready for spirit talk, okay? So, okay, so um, you can continue to play a little bit of spiritual scrabble here by looking in the tiles and seeing what words you can find. And that should be a lot of fun. Let me know, too, if you'd like to, what words you find. Okay, so this is called Spirit Talk, and it's basically like picking up a phone. I'm talking to Spirit. I could draw something, or I could get some kind of message, or a hint or a clue to you about you or your person who you think has a crush on you because energy goes both ways. Somebody here has fabulous hair, though. I just had to say that. Somebody has very fabulous hair. Maybe your hair is your trademark or your the staple about you that really makes you stand out or this person has fabulous hair and somebody here could be in tv or the film industry or maybe you are an online personality okay because i'm definitely getting star energy 
let this be known that if this is your person that you were thinking about who is on TV or is into acting or something, that this is just a confirmation. But not all of these things are going to resonate with you, okay? But like if just a couple things do, then that's probably pretty good, okay? I was hearing Montana. So you or this person could be from Montana. I'm not sure. I'm really bad with spelling, so I'm not sure if I spelled that correctly. And I'm getting like somebody could have some kind of tattoo that kind of looks like this with like, uh, what is that called? Like the Eye of Ra or Horus, either one. So kind of looks like this. You could have one of these on your body or this person could have one of these letting you know that this is you know a confirmation of who this person is so some kind of egyptian tattoo you or this person it doesn't have to be an egyptian eye it could be an ankh as well but maybe you or this person really likes egypt or you could resonate with having a past life in egypt okay that is definitely coming through for somebody out there somebody here could have had a past life as a holy person too because that is coming through and somebody here could have been in the ministry you or this person could have actually been in some kind of like ministry maybe you or this person did a missions trip i want to say was a missionary Okay, there could be something around that. Also, I was seeing in my mind's eye like a church that was kind of like, I think it's called Episcopalian. Episcopalian. Um, I don't know how to really spell that, but it's a, it's a branch of religion. So you could have been brought up as Episcopalian or this person could have been. Okay. Somebody here could have a very serious expression on their face most of the time and um, it's not that you're in a bad mood or this person is, but they may be hard to read or that could be you who's very hard to read, okay? And you or this person could be a photographer as that was coming through as well. You or this person could be a makeup artist or some kind of artist. I'm seeing somebody who works with their hands and is very gifted and talented. That could even be a tattoo artist. Somebody who's very, very talented though. Very, very gifted. Maybe this person owns their own tattoo shop or something like that. Okay. And I was hearing Brussels. I don't really know where that would be, but I was hearing Brussels, so that could be significant for you or the person. Somebody here could be a palm reader. A palm reader. Maybe a tarot reader or somebody who's very gifted psychically. You or this person. Somebody here makes comics, because I'm seeing like comics, like a comic strip in my mind. So you or this person could create comics, okay? And this could also be symbolic of somebody who's, who's who just really enjoys joking around and likes jokes. Somebody here teaches dance, or maybe you used to teach dance. I was hearing Omaha, Omaha. I think that's in like Nebraska or something. So maybe you're from that area. Anything else spirit that you wanna bring through? Hmm. 
I don't know why I was hearing typewriter. So maybe you or this person is a writer, writes books or something like that, or writes articles. Blogger, you could be a blogger, vlogger, this person could be. Translator, you or this person could be a translator. Bilingual, I'm hearing, bilingual. Bilingual, speaking more than one language. Somebody here could have recently gone to a charity event. Very recently gone to a charity event, or you got one coming up real soon. Like raising money for a good cause, I was hearing. Um, Spirit, what else do you wanna bring through? I'm seeing like people with like crowns on their head. So like, I really do feel like this person, whoever this is, they really think that you have very royal energy, regal vibes, you know, that kind of thing. Because this person just thinks that you, you have such star quality and such grace about you, such a flair about you. And I heard fancy, this person thinks that you're very fancy that maybe like your style indicates that you do look wealthy you know or you do have quite the sense of style you know what looks good on you for sure but this person thinks of you as royalty and of course the other thing that i was seeing is that literally some of you could have had a previous lifetime where you were a part of a royal family in a different lifetime I was hearing that song, Royals, by Lord. Um, I was hearing Pisces again, so I was seeing the fish, okay, and I was hearing Pisces. So Spirit has brought that through twice, Pisces energy, you or this person. This person looks very dreamy and they think that you have the same kinds of dreamy vibes because you make them daydream about you all the time. <laughs> yeah, what I'm really sensing is this person has quite a crush on you, quite a crush on you. Everything they like about you, they think they is per they think it's perfect. That's because I was hearing perfection, perfection, like everything about you is perfection. Even if you really don't, you know, view yourself that way. They do. They love everything about you. They wouldn't change a thing. I was also hearing the name Cody. And I heard coder, so you could work in billing and coding. Secretarial work. Medical coding or billing. I was hearing doctor. For some of you, this is a doctor who has a crush on you. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. Like, and when I say doctor, I, I mean like, you know, somebody with a, like a degree that could be, you know, a doctor that a, a philosophy or a medical doctor, a dentist. A psych psychologist or I mean a what is it psychiatrist or any anybody who has just reached their doctoral degree okay who's somebody who's obtained their doctoral degree and they may buy they may go by like dr. so-and-so or whatever okay well I think that, oh yeah I forgot about charms forgot about charms okay I almost forgot about charms so spirit, help me to choose out the right charms that are going to let us know like what we need to know about my pile one and this crush. Okay. So we've got justice. 
divine justice karma Ooh, if you put out good you will be rewarded fairness that could also speak to libra energy so that could be a libra person but you are being rewarded whoever this is that likes you they think that you have like a really great personality and also the universe is blessing you because of your awesome vibes that you're putting out so you're getting more i want to say like more attention more love you're getting the love you may be feeling the love from a lot of people it's because you've come full circle around like you i feel like you're starting a new cycle some of you have had major glow ups okay and you're feeling it too because you're really blossoming and really shining and you're very confident here i too i see with the flower very very confident and look at this for changes the changes that you've been making we have a butterfly which is all about the metamorphic state that you know you could have been literally feeling like you've been very transformed lately and then we have puppy love oh i love that so the person that is crushing on you is quite in puppy love even if this is somebody that you know maybe we're describing here your your person that you've been in a relationship with for a while and just know that like if that's the case even if you're married to this person or whatever this person's still in puppy love with you it's still like they look at you and they just their heart starts racing a little bit faster and they may get sweaty palms and they get just like nervously excited around you we have marigold cruelty grief and jealousy i think that that could speak to other people getting jealous of this connection and there may be somebody in your circle that isn't too happy that you're getting all of this attention and it may make this person very very jealous you could see this person's name or initials in here too um if you're thinking of somebody like oh i know who that is you could see their name or initials there so yeah um let me know if this is resonating so far please put it in the comments oh wow we have animal instincts so yeah you definitely i mean talk about like puppy love and animal instincts you've got somebody here like that just wants to like ravage you okay with their animal instincts you make them feel like very in touch with their base raw animal instincts <laughs> it's like all they want to do is come to you but it's hard to hold back all this energy and i was hearing a song what you gonna do with all that all that junk all that junk inside that trunk <laughs> um i don't know who sings it but it's like i'm gonna make you scream make you scream make you scream i think it's called my humps oh my gosh great song you got to look that up this person when like they think of your body they kind of feel like dancing and singing that song oh gosh they love your body that's what i was really really getting yeah this person they feel like when when you come around their world just starts spinning out of control all around but it's like they get so they get like they swoon over you you know they go they go like literally gaga over you thank you so much to all of you who have been here today and who have participated in this if you'd like to know more about the compliments that this person wants to give you definitely hit subscribe and head on over to my subscriber bonus and we'll find out what kinds of compliments this person wants to give you all right take good care and um, if you'd like a personal reading do be sure to check out my information in my description box below for how to obtain a personal reading with me i have some exciting new packages to offer with my personal reading so send me an email if you're interested um, or just deposit your money and but you know if you're interested in knowing my about my new package options um, send me an email and i'll send you an email with all of the different package pricing options okay and if you'd like to join my patreon just check it out and there's a link in my description box you can go there check it out look at my different tiers i have five different tier levels and see which one works for you and if you'd like to become a channel member that would be great i think you can do that by finding information in the description box below also if you would like to donate it's never ever expected but always appreciated if you'd like to donate you can find info on how to do that in my description box below hope to see you all on over at the subscriber bonus take care
stay beautiful and have a great rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this. Bye. Hello and welcome. If you chose image two or this clear crystal quartz gemstone, you're in the right place for today's tarot pick a card reading, which is gonna be all about who has a major crush on you and why. And at the end, we're gonna be doing confirmations because I know a lot of you like that and I'll be laying down the letter tiles. I'll be casting charms, doing spirit talk and rolling the astro dice too to see if we can get a, a closer look at who this person is. And I will be channeling exact names as well. I could say your name or the person's name. So that'll be toward the end for those extra confirmations for those of you who enjoy the confirmations. So spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile number two collective, all about the question at hand. And please speak through me as you always do spirit. And thank you so much. Please bring in light, positivity, peace, and protection into this space. Thank you, spirit. So who has a crush on my, who has a crush on my pile two collective spirit? Who has a crush on my pile two collective spirit? Please let us know everything that we can know about this person. This person is very, very just naturally intuitive. It's like they get a gut feeling and it's always right. They could like tarot. Maybe they're into into that kind of stuff. They could be into tarot as um, spirituality and everything like that. Um, we have the sun. This person could be a Leo or just be very, very happy. Just naturally very high vibing. All about putting out good vibes. They could be somebody who studies, who's very articulate, very learned, very knowledgeable about all kinds of things. Not just spiritual topics, but also things of the earth history, geography, you know, math, you name it. Like this person is very intelligent. With the Knight of Swords, they could be a, um, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius person. And just a moment, my fan is being very loud and I'm gonna just minimize that sound real quick. Okay, uh, that's better. So anyways, this person, there's somebody who is very practical in their thinking and it's like they really go for what they want with their ambitions and they're the kind of person that's like really disciplined to go after what they want and they're really really good with money too they're the kind of person that is a saver they're good earners good savers and also this person has an, a real gift with speaking they could be a public speaker or Somebody who could really do well in some kind of public speaking role, possibly even somebody who could be speaking to large crowds. This person could be a motivational speaker or maybe they have a lot of clients or customers or whatever it is, but I see them being very intelligent, very learned and very well spoken. So they could very well have a large group of people that support them and interact with them we have the justice here this person could be a libra because the justice card stands for libra energy meaning that this person really doesn't like to take sides they're the kind of person that likes to stay open and kind of likes to see things from all perspectives and the Nine of Cups with it was at the very bottom of that deck too, I noticed. As well as this card depicts somebody who is enjoying a cup of coffee in a van. Um, the van looks kind of like a fun van with stars, sun, moon, and stars painted on it. It looks like kind of like a fun little van for traveling. And there's like a little uh, place for like a little cute little cozy I don't know it looks like a cute little cozy van so this person could like to travel or take trips maybe this person owns one of those like trailers you know where you take the trailer and you go camping or whatever okay 
We have the Ten of Cups, so this person has a lot of love to give. Seven of Wands. That is in conjunction with the Sun. And this person, too, like, maybe they're very, very fussy when it comes to who they give their attention to. They could be very, very selective with that Seven of Wands there. But whenever they see you, they're just, like, so happy. They're so happy. They could be a little bit, like, maybe careful around other people. But when you come around, they're just, like, really, really happy. And they really let their hair down. And they really relax around you. They love your vibes. They almost feel like they've had some kind of past life connection with you with the Wheel of uh the real wheel of fortune is for good luck and sometimes stands for like a karmic connection. So you could have had like a past life with this person. Oh wow, we have Queen of Swords. Lots of swords energy swords energy here. So that tells me that this person could indeed be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Which is interesting because we have the knight and the queen of swords. So that's just double confirmation with the swords energy. So even if this person does not have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius somewhere in their chart prominently, they really embody that kind of vibe. Like they really are really quite choosy who they give their energy to. But yeah, when you come around, when they see you, they just want to be close to you. I can't help but notice this cute little adorable kitty cat on her lap. That's kind of how they feel like they want to just be like, you know, near you, having you give them attention and things like that. Like they just, they, they love your cozy vibes. They love that you make them feel at ease and they can just be themselves around you. They don't have to hide who they are around you. And that's very unique because I feel like for this person, they sometimes like, even though they're interacting with a lot of people on a regular basis through work or whatever, they may not actually like being in the public aisle that much, or maybe they really enjoy one-to-one -one time or small groups, you know? So this person just feels like very at ease with you. They're very good at reading people too because they are so naturally gifted as a psychic or as somebody who's very intuitive. So they're good at like reading people. And this person just reads your energy and they love it. They think that you're somebody who has very comforting vibes. Let's see if we can get some more information about how this person looks. Spirit, how does this person look? This could be one person, could be more than one person for some of you. For some of you, it could be two different people. Two or more, I just heard. So, yeah. So, for some of you, this person could be older than you. They could even have, like, gray hair or white hair. We have with plates so this person could have like braids in their hair or that could be you because energy goes both ways somebody here could have fringe bangs so you or this person fringe bangs i don't know why but i was hearing the the word mullet so you or this person could possibly even have like a mullet shaped hair hairstyle somebody here could have dyed hair it could even be pink or red that could be you or this person who's crushing on you. I just heard alternative. Also, this person or you could have purple hair or blue hair. Somebody here could have short hair. You or this person crushing on you. Short hair. Dark skin. So that could be you or this person that has, that has a crush on you. Somebody who is dark skinned. Big eyes. Okay, this person has big eyes, or that could be your big eyes. They're just very beautiful big eyes. They make this person look very, almost like innocent, <laughs> youthful. Shoulder length hair, so you or this person could have shoulder length hair. Somebody here could be full figured, you or this person crushing on you, just very curvy long eyelashes so that could be you or this person and then full lips let's get into why this person is crushing on you and then we'll get a little bit more clarifiers as far as like physical looks why is this person crushing 
this person loves your style you could like to wear like bucket hats or like 90s style clothes you might have been a 90s kid maybe you grew up in the 90s this person though really likes your sense of style it's very fun and it looks like too that you you eat very healthy i feel like this person like wants to take you out to dinner or wants to go out to lunch with you or even coffee they want to ask you out This person could really be a gamer or into technology. Maybe they love technology. I'm sensing like Gemini energy with this group. Like whenever the, the newest gadgets come out, this person always has to have like the newest gadget. This person or you could be very feminine. And I think that they like you because you, you bought embody a lot of feminine energy and you're very well balanced with the feminine and masculine energy, but you have a lot of feminine energy that appeals to them, meaning that you're just very open and re and open to receiving and very nurturing. And you're such a good listener. That's what they love about you. We have elf, elf thirst trap. I'll get a clarifier on that. For some of you, you've got somebody who is following you online that, like, let's say you are somebody who's in the spotlight or something like that. You could have a crush who is, I want to say, like, getting onto your website. Maybe they're getting on your Facebook. I don't know, something like that and, like, kind of crushing on you that way. That could be for some of you who may be in the spotlight. Or you could have... A couple of different people crushing on you and one of them is somebody that you may be aware about but there may not be mutual okay um mutual feelings with this person for one of them and somebody here i think this person could be one of those people that likes attention okay and they really really want your attention very badly so if you are somebody who is popular or in the spotlight in any way, shape, or form, this person could be watching you and maybe they're crushing on you. And you might even already know who this person is, but there's somebody else too. Oh, wow. Um, let me see. I've got to cover this a little bit. So this person is somebody who could be very well endowed, okay? Uh, could be a gentleman. Or if this, or if you are a gentleman, then they, they think that you are very well endowed and that, and they like that about you. Man bun. So you could have a man bun or this person could have a man bun. And we have L cake. They love your booty. They love that booty. We have L tattoo. This person could have a tattoo or you could have a tattoo. Maybe even on the arm like that arm wrist something like that could even be of a flower let's go ahead and see um i want to do like these cards and see if we can get more physical descriptors how else would you describe the person or people who are crushing on my pile too we've got emma you could have red hair you could have like you know, long red hair, or this person could have long red hair, or even like brownish. Eric, um, you could have, again, blue hair is coming through here, black hair, short hair, somebody here with blue eyes, and somebody here with brown eyes. Rachel, okay, you could look like this, maybe you have brown hair and glasses, or the person who's crushing on you has brown hair and glasses. They could even be like kind of shaped like that, sort of like, almost like a mix between aviator or horned, horned rimmed glasses. And then we have Ben, he has glasses as well. So you or your person could definitely, this person crushing on you could definitely wear glasses, okay? And at the bottom we have Olivia. So yeah, you could look like any of these people or because energy goes both ways, 
It could be the person that likes you or has a crush on you. We also have Sam. So, yeah, this person is wearing like an interesting hat, kind of like a newsboy style hat. So, you or your person, the person that is crushing on you, could wear like th that kind of style hat. Okay. Okay, so why is this person or these people crushing on my pile too? Wow, that one flew out. They like your easygoing personality, okay? You could even have hair like this, like really thick hair, maybe thick or curly hair. They love your creative side. You're somebody who just comes across as being very creative or maybe even artsy. Unafraid to wear what you want to wear. Unafraid to wear what you like. And your styles are so cool. You're just a very personable person. And this person feels like you can get along with anybody because you're so easygoing and personable. You're the kind of person that, like, they would be proud of to take to events. Almost like to show you off also to have you, like, interact and represent them in a way. I was hearing professor. This person could even be a professor at a college. We have angelic. This person thinks you, you are very angelic. Prim. This person thinks that you have very classic types of vibes. Like your style is very classic looking. And you look very great. You look really great in these kinds of clothes. And like the kinds of handbags. If you're wearing like handbags accompanying your outfits. Your hand your handbags look like very almost like prim or you could like to wear or I'm sorry not wear well yeah wearing purses you can wear purses I guess you can carry them the purses maybe you like coach or some of these other high end types of handbags okay something with a B I was getting something with a B you could have like a really high end type of handbag that's like kind of expensive it looks classy you have a femininity about you yeah thank you spirit for bringing that through again so even though you may be somebody who is also in your masculine energy you're also very much in your feminine energy so that's coming through again and your person thinks that you're really open and warm and you always have something great to say like you have the best advice and you're very dreamy you have dreamy vibes about you and that gives me pisces types of energy too so you or your person could have pisces all right let's go ahead and cast some charms Okay, so Spirit, help me to choose the correct charms for my pile two here that will reveal information about what we need to know about the question at hand, Spirit. Okay. We have cycles, so this person definitely wants to open, open up some kind of new cycle with you. Also, this person feels like they've had a past life with you because that reminds me of like the Karma card. And then we have the Mad Pineapple. And I really do think that with the mad pineapple that like, I think that people get really jealous when this person like gives you attention or maybe even they're talking about you. They could talk about you quite a bit. This could be jealous coworkers if this is somebody at work that's talking about you. Maybe they just like never shut up about you. They're always constantly like watching you, talking about you, raving about you. I just heard like this person loves to brag about you and other people get like kind of mad about it. They get tired of it. They don't want to hear about it. That, that kind of thing. You make this person melt. You literally make them melt like a popsicle on a 100 degree day. Like you seriously make this person like get so excited when they see you. It says get out of your comfort zone. So what that tells me is that this person who's crushing on you they want to get out of their comfort zone and like put themselves out there for you and be like hey you know what and like tell you how they're feeling about you it could be a secret admirer though right now at this point in time maybe they're not actually taking action towards you but just more like secretly admiring you and then we have capricorn energy 
So this is somebody who could be a Capricorn or is just embodying the traits. So they're intelligent, they're hardworking, they're patient. They could be a little bit withdrawn, contemplative, and earthly and spiritual, like a combination between earthly and spiritual. Or that could be describing you and how you are. Wow. Okay. This could be a twin flame for some of you. Just putting that out there that this could be a twin flame because we got the mirror. Okay. So the person that likes you could be your twin flame. And then we have dreaming of you. Oh my goodness. So this person is dreaming about you day and night. And with the t-shirt, they really like your style. That's just like another confirmation. And... Also, we've got the dog here for, that always reminds me of like loyalty. This person, they're loyal to you. They don't have eyes for anyone else. So interesting. What I would like to do now is I'm going to segue into the part where I do spirit talk and letter tiles as well as astro dice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clear this area and I'll be back. Okay, I am back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be rolling the astro dice to see if we can get your sun, moon, or ascendant or the, the person that you might be thinking has a crush on you, their big three. Okay, one of their big three or maybe all of their big three. And then I'm going to be putting the letter tiles down so you can look for either your name or your initials. Okay, first, middle, or last or a screen name or the person who you are thinking this might be who's crushing on you. And I think I'll put these letter tiles over here just so they're out of the way for when I do the spirit talk. So as I'm putting these down, you can be listening for me to call your name or your person's name. If I say somebody who's a family member's name, just know that that's extra confirmation. That does not mean the person is, you know, in love with you if it's a family member, okay? I've had people tell me that like, oh no, you said my brother's name. Does that mean he's in love with me? I'm like, no, it's just extra confirmation. That's all. Um, so just know that. And yeah, um, you could see your name or the person's name instead of hearing it out loud because uh, I won't be able to say everybody's name, but just whatever spirit wants to bring through today, okay? And just keep looking. And if you don't see initials or names, then just keep listening because I may bring through different hints and clues through the spirit talk portion, okay? So there's lots of ways to confirm that this is your pile. So I was hearing some names. I'm going to go ahead and bring these names through. I was hearing Ned, Zeb, or Zebulon, Bruce, Jericho, hmm. Eric, Amir, Omar, Shh. what is it? Sharon? Sher yeah, like an SH name. Sharon. Sher Sherry. Sharona. That's an interesting name. Sharona. I was hearing York. York. Okay, that could be a name. Maybe even a first or middle or last name. I'm not sure, but York. Tegan, Talbot, Patrick, Webster, Sinclair, that could be a last name, David or Daniel, Ray, Reese, Reed, Theodore, Nellie, Radley, or Bradley, Piper, Pippin, Reuben, Paul, Embry, Amber, Amy, Misha, Maya, Destiny, Denia, Reagan, Quintessa, Contessa, okay, Tony, 
Kiyoshi. Jinji? Ginger? That could even be a lip, uh, like a nickname. Randall? Rama? Quincy? Xavier? Xander? Zephyra? Zephyra? Something like that. Zippera? Hmm. Felice? Feliciano? Lori? And I'm just going to say a few more names, okay? And I invite you to, while I'm doing that, to look here for to make words that you can see. Like I'm seeing Carlos in the tiles too. You can look for names that you know. I'm hearing Tyler. Tyrone. Arden. That could be a last name too. Rosa. Adonaya, Jesus, Zelda, Adora, Belshazzar. Hmm, that's an interesting name. Belshazzar. I think I've heard that maybe in the Bible. I don't know. That seems like a Bible name. But yeah. And maybe Dita. Dita. Also, we have Taurus. Okay, maybe the name Jim or James also is coming through as well. And Lita. Lita. Interesting. Then we've got Libra, Gemini, and Libra again. So let's roll again. Scorpio. So you or your person could be... In your sun, moon, or ascendant, or their sun, moon, or ascendant, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, or Taurus. And then we have the number 4 and 11. So this could be for the 4th of any month for birthdays for you or this person who's crushing on you. Or the 11th of any month for your birthday or this person. We have November birthdays coming through. So I pretty, I'm pretty much sure that's Scorpio energy. That could also be Sagittarius, depending on when in November you're born. And then the fourth month of any year, April. So you or this person could be an Aries or Taurus, just depending on where in April this birthday falls, okay? Because I was definitely getting that as well. Okay, let's go ahead and do spirit talk and we'll see what else we can find out. I'm going to be filling this whole entire page and not all of it's going to resonate with you, okay? But even if, even if like two or three things do, it's still, it's still meant for you and take it as a sign that it's meant to be a confirmation for you that this is your pile, but... I could say, like, literally things about you or the person who's crushing on you. If it's more than one person, I may say the things about these people that are crushing on you, okay? Hmm. I was hearing that Unbreak My Heart by Toni Braxton. So there could be a crush who is, I mean, an ex who is crushing on you and X is still crushing on you and you might see their name in the letter tiles. I was hearing that song, Hey There Delilah. So maybe this person uh, wants to dedicate that song to you, Hey There Delilah. Hey There Delilah. I don't know how to spell Delilah, but yeah. This person could play the guitar or some other kind of musical instrument, or that could be you. So I'm really getting that, that like this person or you could be really into music or play an instrument.
I was hearing Charlie Pluth. Okay, maybe this person really likes Charlie Pluth or is like, you know, maybe they look like this person or you looks like Charlie Pluth. Let me show you what he looks like. And I'll tell you uh, some of his popular songs. I was hearing like Superman. I'm only one call away. So one call away is coming through. One call away. So whoever it is that's crushing on you would love to like dedicate that song to you as well. But this is what Charlie Pluth looks like. So you or your person could look like that. Perhaps even maybe something with the eyebrow like that. This person could have recently changed their hairstyle or got their hair cut or that could have been you who did that with your hair. But yeah, that's a pretty good picture. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I was also hearing that song, uh, Ride It, My Pony. I don't know what that is, but it's like, Ride it, my pony, do it, come on. <laughs> I don't even know all the words, but that's, yeah. This person wants to get very intimate with you. I will say that. Okay. Because I'm getting like this kind of like, you know, music that's kind of like more for like the bedroom, you know, bedroom type of like romantic m um, music, I want to say. Somebody here could be a sales executive. That could be you or this person who's crushing on you. Because I was also hearing PR. That could be you or this person who's in like public relations. And I was hearing investments. You or this person could work with financial investments or be an, a financial, financial analyst or something. Financial analyst, I was hearing. Investments, banking, buyer. Oh, and Spirit just said this person could be a broker. Okay, or that could be you who's a broker. Interesting, interesting. And I was hearing also that this person could be into uh, advertising. Yeah, advertising. Or that could be you who's into advertising. And that could even include marketing. Okay. So you or this person. And then it's very, very possible, too, that somebody here could be an engineer. You or this person who's crushing on you is an engineer. Whether that's like a software engineer or mechanical engineer or whatever okay there's many different types of engineers as you all know so this person could be an engineer or just have that type of mind where it's like they understand the interworkings of things how things are related this person is very intelligent okay this person almost looks so perfect that they the spirit is telling me that they could look like a wax figure they look almost like too perfect you know like those wax figures that that you see in like madame tussauds wax museums and stuff like this person is like they're picture perfect in every single picture they look perfect in every single every single time you see them they just look like they yeah like they're some kind of some kind of perfect i don't know it's almost scary how perfect this person looks like never a hair out of place and even with it when it is they still look amazing <laughs> and they give off the most amazing vibes like it can make you get kind of like maybe even a little bit nervous i am sensing that from spirit that this person could even make you a little bit nervous what else spirit I don't know, like, I'm seeing, like, an image of, like, a pencil. Okay, what do you want to tell me about this pencil? Okay, this person could be a writer, or they could be, or an artist, okay? Or that could be you who is a writer or an artist. 
Because I was definitely getting that. Okay. What else, spirit? Somebody here could, who could have red hair. Somebody here could be into comedy. Maybe you like to watch comedies. Or this person could be a stand-up comedian. Or that could be you who's the comedian. But I was hearing comedy. I was seeing like the the theater masks you know they kind of look like this um and it's like the sad the happy you know what i mean like this and yeah i'm seeing theater masks so this person could be into acting or theater they could be like a talent recruiter too or that could be you who recruits talent you could have even won a talent show. Let that be confirmation for you if you have ever won a talent show. This person or you could be a performer because I was hearing that. Oh, I was hearing performing arts. Okay, so that could be you or this person who is into the performing arts or performance arts. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, basically performance arts would be like musician, dancer, actor, TV director, or film producer, camera operator, you know, that kind of thing. Or like I said, a writer, a journalist, that kind of thing. Editor. This person could edit articles or that kind of thing. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? that you want to bring through for confirmations for my file too. Um, I am seeing somebody who could possibly drive a truck. So that could be you or the person who has a crush on you that drives a truck. Okay. Maybe they drive this for work because I'm seeing like a utility truck, like one with like a ladder. You or this person could even be a firefighter, maybe even a volunteer firefighter, but a firefighter or drive a utilities truck. Utility truck. Interesting. So you or this person could work outdoors too. I'm seeing like one of those traffic cones, you know, like that one of those traffic cones. So this person could, I'm seeing like men at work. I'm seeing like a sign that says like men at work. So this person could work outdoors or that could be you who works outdoors. I heard builder. You or this person could be a builder. This person or you could have been a Marine. I was hearing Marine. That could even be Marine biology. Um, as far as like places, I was getting like Ecuador. I don't know why I was getting Ecuador. I'm not really sure how to spell that. Um, hmm, Montague. I don't know where that would be, but I was hearing Montague. So that could be a, uh, that could be a location. You could also see your location in the letter tiles I was hearing like Pennsylvania Pennsylvania I'm not sure if I spelled that correctly Baton Rouge and also I was hearing like Milan Portugal Bali? I don't know where that is, but Bali. And Escanaba. Hmm. Okay. Escanaba. Please let me know if any of this is resonating with you because I would be really curious to know about that. I'm not the world's best 
geographer. I don't know a lot about geography, but like I know what spirit tells me and some of these places just seem like they're not even really real places, but I'm sure if like we look them up or if you're from there, they're probably real places because I always just write down whatever spirit, sort of like you can call it like whispering into my ear. It's like a knowing, it's a download. So yeah, I always have to bring whatever comes through, even if it sounds very random or strange. <laughs> Okay, so thanks so much for being here and um, don't forget about the subscriber bonus. Please head on over there. All you have to do is hit subscribe and head on over there. You can look in the timestamps and it'll say subscriber bonus in the timestamps. Okay, go ahead and click on that. If you need a personal reading, just send me an email. I have uh, my still my old my old prices are still legit and all that and they still I'm still honoring those but I've also added more package options for my personal readings and I've added some more packages as well for my patreon so just you know if you want a reading email me and let me know or just make the payment and then I can send you an email with the new package information as well and uh, yeah you can find all the info for that in my description box below also like I mentioned my patreon I've added a few more tiers or layers so go ahead and go to my Patreon link in my description box and check that out if you're interested. And if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can find more info in my description box on how to do that as well. And I hope you take real good care. Thanks again for being here. And I hope to see you on over at the subscriber bonus. Bye. Hello, beautiful souls. And welcome! If you chose Image 3, or this green adventuring gemstone, you're in the right place for today's tarot pick a card reading. It's going to be a deep dive into who's crushing on you, who has a major crush on you. This could be one person or more than one person. Could be somebody that you are aware of or somebody that you may not be expecting. So I'm going to be using tarot and oracle cards as well as at the end I'm going to be rolling some astro dice, casting some charms, and putting out letter tiles and channeling exact names and doing spirit talk. So that'll be the portion where you'll be able to confirm that this is indeed your pile. So that's exciting. And I know that many of you appreciate and enjoy that segment. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you be part of this awesome community. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for being here. I'm going to go ahead and take a few moments to connect with Spirit. So Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my Pile 3 Collective, all about the questions at hand. Spirit, please speak through me as you always do. And please bring in light, peace, positivity, and protection into this space. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use these tarot cards. These are really neat tarot cards. I, they're pretty new. They were actually a gift from a subscriber. So you know who you are. Thank you so much for these. The Posey Witch Tarot deck. Wow, okay. So we've got the King of Pentacles. This could be somebody who is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn individual. This person could be older than you. doesn't necessarily mean that they are, but they have a sense of maturity about them. They're really good earners. They're good at saving. They could have a love for quality items, a love for collecting things. We also have a King of Swords, so that's two people already, so... There's somebody here who is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, also could be older than you with the king energy there, or just somebody who is, oh wow, um, more mature for their age. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. So we've got king of wines too. You've got at least three people that are either all older than you you could be very young watching this or just have a lot of very mature or very much like i don't know like people older than you that are, are crushing on you but it's interesting because you've got so many people here oh my gosh 
Um, piles 1 and 2 didn't have quite as many. I'm sensing that you must be very, very popular in my pile 3. And this can make your friends very jealous or so-called friends. People like, you know, like if, let's say you're a woman or you identify as a woman. This could be other women that, you know, can act really snarky um, towards you or very judgmental. And maybe this has been an issue for you because we have toxic witches. Be cautious of those who take more than they give. You could have issues with friends or so-called friends being very jealous of you because of all of your admirers. You're getting all the attention. We have Ace of Cups on the bottom. So you're getting love offers. You have people that fall in love with you so fast, so quickly. You have many, many admirers. Spirit, please give us clarifiers for these cards. We've got the Empress. Ooh. So there's somebody here crushing on you that's thinking that you would be like a wonderful partner to have have children with. You have you 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 have the kind of genetics that you would make cute babies. There's definitely somebody here who's thinking about having intimate moments with you, okay? Bedroom moments. And yeah, this person, there's definitely like three people here. One person is thinking about marriage. The other is thinking about having babies with you. And the other person is just thinking about having like almost like a fling or something like that. Interesting. So like two of them are serious and then one is just for fun. Interesting. Four of Wands and the Toxic Witches means that you could be on a, I want to say on... I don't know, on a break or pause or having some kind of issues with friendships right now, something with that, something with issues with friends being very, very jealous of you at the moment, probably because of this, okay? And the Four of Wands is about, it can be like marriage, it can be stability. I feel like you've got some friends that are jealous of like the fact that you seem very stable you've got so many people you may be getting lots of marriage offers or offers from people that are serious offers and you could have some very jealous friends that aren't getting the, these types of offers okay so there could be jealousies lots of jealousies It'll be interesting to get more hints and clues about who these people are in the spirit talk segment because there's definitely, you know, three three people here that have very indifferent intentions. Two people being very serious about you, almost like falling in love with you kind of thing. This could be unrequited love. Maybe you don't like this person back or maybe for some of you, this is your partner that you love very much, very deeply. Okay, so it's just going to depend, but then there's somebody here who just wants to have a fling with you. So I really do want to look more into like these people, what they look like and get into exact names. And we'll talk a little bit about why they are so attracted to you as well. And the subscriber bonus is going to be all about the compliments that they want to give to you. So don't forget to check that out when you're done with this. Okay. And that's for my subscribers as my way to say thank you so much for being part of this awesome community. So check that out. All you have to do is hit subscribe. We've got with dreadlocks. So this person or you could have dreadlocks because energy can go both ways. Okay. So that could be you or this person who's crushing on you who has dreadlocks. Also, this person could have a bit of facial hair or that could be you. Thick and bushy hair, this person could have dark hair, thick and bushy hair, or that could be you. Could have a handlebar mustache, interesting. Could be very tall, okay? So that could be you or this person who, one of these people who's attracted to you is this person is very tall. Hair with a ponytail, so this person could wear their hair in a ponytail, or that could be you who likes to wear your hair in a ponytail quite a bit. Somebody here may have like a narrow, small mouth, small mouth with narrow lips. And then we've got handsome. Okay, so you or this person who is admiring you is very good looking. 
We have with glasses. So this person or you could wear glasses, possibly have brown hair in a style like that. It kind of reminds me of like Superman, like Clark Kent. Wavy hair. So you or this person who's crushing on you could have wavy hair. And I'm just going to pick a few more. Full lips. Okay, so you or this person or one of these people could have very full lips. Somebody here could be middle-aged, so that could be you or this person who's crushing on you. Could be very, you know, middle-aged, so 40s, 50s. And somebody here who could be on the shorter end. That could be you who's kind of short or the person who is crushing on you. And somebody here could have a goatee. Either you have a goatee or the person who is crushing on you. Let's go ahead and see like, you know, what it is about you that they really like, and then we'll get into more physical descriptors. Okay, so Spirit, what is it about my pile three that this person or these people really, really like about them? They like that you are super smart, but also you look great. You look so, just so, so good, and you look very good in glasses if you wear glasses. It makes you look like you know that there's a song hot for teacher so you look very i want to say like alluring you look very alluring also you could have an innocence about you or maybe you are very youthful for your age maybe you look very young for your age or you literally are somebody who's very young young at heart i just heard you could be young at heart you have an independent nature about you so you're the kind of person that you enjoy having a relationship but it's not like you need it that much this person also or these people like you because you have like a simplistic beauty about you you don't need a whole lot of get up in order to look beautiful you can roll out of bed and look beautiful you could have like a little bit of a rebellious streak or rebellious nature maybe you question things maybe because of your intelligence you question rules we have bootylicious. You could have um, a really nice shape to your body. And you could also be a very deep thinker. And they really like that about you. They really love your body though. Body and mind. They like the way you think. And they think that you're a lot of fun. You could be just a really fun person that they want to spend more time with. And natural, yeah, you're a natural beauty. You are very much the epitome of a natural beauty, so you don't need a whole lot. So thank you, Spirit, for bringing that through. You don't need a whole lot of getup. Like, yeah, you look good with it, you know, if you want to wear that added stuff, but you don't need it. You're a natural-looking beauty. Let's go ahead and see if we can find some more things out about this person and how they look. Wow. Wow. We've got Lily here. They could be kind of traditional. They could wear something on their head or that could be you, okay? Like a scarf or something like that. Or even a, I wanna say like a hijab. Is that what it's called, hijab? I don't know, okay? You could be from India or this person could be from India. We have Amy here. You could have tips like purple tips or pink tips in your hair. You could have like again with the glasses this could be your look or this could be the person who is crushing on you we have carmen here and then we have al hold on al somebody who's a bit older maybe older than you wears glasses could have a beard okay totally looks like a professor type to me or even like Almost looks like a doctor to me. Jordan, this could be somebody who has like blonde tips. Maybe they have dark hair with blonde tips. They could have like a goatee or facial hair. Brown eyes. I'm seeing a lot of brown eyes. Some green eyes too. Blue eyes and black hair. We have Laura here. I think she has like long hair. You could have long hair. And we have Daniel with a man bun. So, yeah, uh, this person or you could have a bun. Maybe you wear your hair in a bun a lot or this person wears their hair in a bun a lot. And then we have Mike. So Mike is somebody who wears a beanie. Maybe this person wears a beanie quite a bit or you like to wear beanies. 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear off this space so that we can do charm casting, astro dice, and letter tiles, as well as spirit talk. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this space off and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I've got my charms here and letter tiles. And then um, I just remembered too that I forgot to do these cards. So I'm going to do these cards as well. Okay, so it'll be a lot of fun. We'll get lots and lots of details, astro dice. These will be just confirmations and I'm gonna say an exact name. I might say your name or the person who is crushing on you. The person who's crushing on you or you, because energy can both can, can go both ways, could be Taurus, Gemini, Aries, or Aquarius. Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. We have the month of August and the 12th month, which is December. You could be born on December 8th or August 12th, or this person could be, or any time in August or December for birthdays for you or this person. And 8 plus 12 would be 20. So it could be that there's a birthday on the 20th of any month for you or this person as like a confirmation. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and get some letter tiles. And I'd like you to look for your name or initials, first, middle, or last, or a screen name of you or the person who you feel like is crushing on you to see if, if you have somebody in mind, look for their name. I'm going to be saying names too, so um, just be listening for your first, middle, or last name or the person who you think it might be. Some of you may be very surprised with some of the names that come out. Now, if a family member's name comes out, do not necessarily think that this family member has a crush on you. It's just meant to be added confirmation for you that you chose the right pile. Okay, so if a family member's name comes out, it's just confirmation that you chose the right pile. But if it's anybody else, it's fair game. Okay, it could be a boss, a, you know, a coworker, um, somebody who is a friend. It could be somebody you just met. It could be your partner. It could be an ex. It could be literally anybody. Okay. It could be somebody of the same gender. All right. It could be literally anybody. So be prepared for anything. And I'm going to ask that spirit brings through the names that are um, going to be have the most importance and impact for you to give you the best results for you to know who this is, who these people are who are crushing on you, whether it's one or two or more people, because you have so many, as we saw in the beginning of this reading so don't be surprised if a lot of people come through and i'm going to go ahead and say some names but if i don't say names of anybody you know well you can look for them spelled out or you can look listen for other hints and clues as well i've seen here somebody who has a really funny sense of humor or may enjoy pranks that could be you that enjoys pranks or this person likes to watch prank videos or sometimes they might like to play pranks or tell jokes the name Edward was coming through here. Hawk. Okay, that could be like a last name. Or this person could even... I was hearing like Tony Hawk. This person could look like Tony Hawk. Or maybe they're a big fan of Tony Hawk. Something about skateboarding. That could be their hobby. Or you could enjoy skateboarding. Water surfing even. You could live in California, or this person could live in California. Just a moment. Sorry, I had to let my puppy in here because she was whimpering at the door because she gets anxiety sometimes. She's a sweet little thing. Okay. I'm seeing that I've got duplicates here. I've got to stack the duplicates. Okay, as far as names, I was hearing Adam. I was hearing Adam Lambert, too. So you could be a big fan of Adam Lambert, or this person might look like Adam Lambert. Bianca, Princess, Precious. Eric, 
Jonah, Judith, Jules, Julia. Some of you could have studied ballet or this person who's crushing on you could have studied ballet or dance. Somebody here could, and, and this might sound funny, but I was hearing mime, mime, like, um, like a mime or clown, you know, that kind of thing. This person could, I know that sounds funny, but maybe this person studied how to be a mime. Seems random, but I have to bring through whatever, um, spirit lets me know. Angelica and... Esperanza, Nora, Nettie, Tasha, Joab, Jody, Jordy, Mike Milford? That could be a last name too. Milford. Crawford. Omega. Noah. No. No. What is it? Nolan. Something like that. Nolan. Norris. Nigel. Joey or Joseph, Joe, Jojo, Ebri, Isaiah, Kurt or Curtis, Linus, Isadora, Mason, Headley, Healy, LeBron, I was hearing NASDAQ. Maybe this person works in finances or works with the stock exchange or stock markets. They could be an, like an investor. Christopher, Chuck, Elam, McKenna, Ellis, Elton, Ambrosia, Kin, Fenton, Vivi or Vivian, Heather, Dexter, Dale, Howell, that could be a last name, Hezekiah, Ezekiel, Heck, Hecatite, Hamlet, Joshua, and I'm just going to say a few more, okay? Um, Arthur, Tracy, Tamar, or Tamari. I want to say like Maisie or something like that, or Aslin, Aslin. Janetta, Adele, Genevieve, Josie, and Sue. Sue or Susan. Nor yeah, Norman. Okay, so you could see the names here. All right. And then I already did the astro dice. So now I'm going to do casting charms. Okay, so spirit, help me to choose the right charms for pile three that will add to this conversation. Okay, okay. So the first thing that stands out here is this skull, which reminds me of scorpionic energy too. So like that could be, you know, Scorpio energy, you or them transformative very transformative type of energy here and maybe a love for the hidden the occult this could be somebody who really has a love for 
spiritual things or occult things. We have home. This could even be somebody's somebody who lives in the same apartment complex as you or somebody that lives I guess lives in lives in your home. I don't know. This could be your partner if you, you know, your partner could really be having a crush on you. Maybe you came here to see what how your crush was feeling about you that that is actually your partner and that's not going to be for everybody, but and this person too, there's somebody here, like I said, who's thinking very serious about like taking the next steps with you, either marriage, moving in together or something like that. We have money. This person wants to shower you with gifts. There's somebody here who wants to shower you with like give you money or see, you know, give you money if you need it or give you, do favors for you. They could be like a Virgo. They could be doing acts of service for you. We have a flower, which means for like blooming, blossoming, and really opening up. And also abundance with the grapes. So this person, they feel like you are very abundant and they are very abundant. And like there's somebody here who definitely wants to grow something with you. We have crane, solitude and independence. Yeah, so you, you have that kind of like vibe about you where you don't really need somebody but you really do enjoy people's company but you're really an independent type of person like you make your own money you could have your own apartment you know you could be very financially independent and this person just wants to add to your life not take away but add to your life there's somebody here who wants to add to your life and then we have this bow here and she's wearing nothing but a bow so there's people here who really admire your body, the way your body looks. They think that your body is like a gift. They wish you'd wear just a bow <laughs> for them. And then there's a snail here for slow. This person could be, like there could be somebody here who has liked you for a while, but maybe they're slow to make a move. And then it says a light in the darkness. You will find a way. That's how the crushes that are that really like you the two I was thinking the two especially that really want something serious with you they really do feel like you're the kind of person who is a light in the darkness for them they feel that way about you and that you're kind of like that for other people too like you could be somebody who's a spiritual teacher you could be a spiritual leader you could be a spiritual advisor okay you could even be a fellow tarot reader Okay, so let's see what else Spirit can add to this conversation before we get to Spirit Talk. Okay, what else do you want to add to this conversation, Spirit? You could be a human rights activist or somebody who fights for, you know, a good cause with the activists there. Maybe you fight for the environment, okay? You could be like somebody who, who fights, who, ugh, I can't talk who either is an activist for human rights or animal rights or the environment. And then we have La Red Flag, but it was in reverse. So no red flags. DoorDash. Um, hmm. There could possibly be a red flag with one of these people. <laughs> but with I think with the other two, there's possibly like very good intentions. But one just obviously wants one thing. But if that's what you want to, then actually that would be perfect. So I think that's why that's in reverse because it kind of like take it or leave it. Um, and always listen to your heart and your intuition. But DoorDash, this person, maybe this person works for DoorDash. I mean, you never know. Some people do. Uh, they may make deliveries. Or there's somebody who feels like, you know, you're reliable. You're somebody who is going to be there if they need you. Just like, you know, how DoorDash, DoorDash is that service that like they'll go out and get whatever you need and like bring it back to you. Like, let's say you have an injury and you can't go to the store or let's say like you're hungry, but you're hungover and you can't drive or you're drunk and you can't drive and you call DoorDash, they'll go get something for you and bring it to you. So like that could be significant that like they feel like you're you're somebody who's always willing to do favors or like you're really nice or sweet or thoughtful and like you're always like really thinking about like how other people are thinking and feeling 
we have L non-GMO. It looks like here too that like you seem to like to gravitate toward natural foods and stuff like that. So this person thinks that you eat very healthy. We had two cards that fall, fell. We have dance trend. So you, and then we had the simp card. So this person, there's somebody here who wants to like buy you things. Like I said, up here with the money, they want to like be a simp for you. They would do anything for you. And dancing, I don't know, this person loves your body. They love to watch you when you're walking, dancing, standing, or doing whatever you're doing. We have L flex in reverse. This person may not have the most money. Because, like, flexing with this with all the money means, like, yeah, maybe they have huge muscles or a lot of money. But, like, in reverse, maybe they don't, they don't have the world's biggest muscles or, like, the most money. But they're, I still feel like there's a, an attraction there. They're not flexing, though. They're not flexing. They're not showing off these, these people that like you. They're not very pretentious or showy. They're just, like, they are who they are. Owl Sushi in reverse. I think that that just means, like, this person could... Maybe they want to do, like, a, a nice little date at home instead of taking you out for for instead of taking you out to a restaurant you know for some kind of meal maybe this person instead wants to have some kind of romantic date at home home cooked meal or something like that and let's see what else l apology video with the apology in reverse Whoever this is who's crushing on you, they have nothing to regret or nothing to feel sorry about because they don't feel sorry. They don't apologize for how they feel. They're very unapologetic for how they feel. They're one of those people that just like, they're like, this is me. This is how I feel. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is spirit talk to find out who this is. Okay, a little bit more confirmations. A little bit more in-depth look at who this is. Now I'm going to fill this whole paper with different hints and clues and facts. It could be messages for you. It could not be. Um, even if two or three things resonate with you that, you know, relate to either you or the person or people who are crushing on you, then that'll be your confirmation. Spirit, what can you bring through as messages for my pile three to be like confirmation that this is definitely their pile? I don't know why, but I was seeing Gwen Stefani from that, uh, No Doubt. So maybe... That song, Don't Speak, is coming through. Don't speak, I know just what you're saying. So, I don't know. That that song could have some kind of special meaning to you if you were to listen to it. This could be like an ex who is thinking about you. For some of you, this is somebody who just couldn't get over you. Okay. I heard, like, I heard dump dumps dump what is it dump truck dump truck okay somebody here could like be obsessed with different kind of trucks like dump trucks um i don't know different kinds of trucks fire trucks utility trucks somebody here could work for a telephone company i was hearing they could actually climb up poles for a living like those telephone poles you know i was seeing that i was seeing that somebody here could actually do that for a living somebody here could have to like go up heights like really really high and work maybe they're a construction worker or something like that they could wear a hard hat they could be somebody who really is somebody who's like a, a into manual labor and that could be you or this person is into manual labor because that's what spirit was bringing through manual labor they could have like a very intense job 
Okay, maybe this person that maybe that's why they're they're not in bad shape. Okay, this person. I think one of these people, at least one of these people, is in pretty good shape. But I am seeing one of these people could sit in an office type of cubicle and like have an office or a desk job. Or that could be you who's sitting. I'm seeing somebody sitting at a desk working. At a cubicle or something like that. I was hearing Russia. So you or this person could have some kind of affiliation with Russia. I heard the name Joyce. Aaron, I was hearing the name Aaron, like A-A-R-O-N or E-R-I-N. Somebody here could really love Halloween or have a Halloween birthday. What else, Spirit? I don't know why. I was seeing like an ice cream cone like this. Ah, uh, Yeah, ice cream cone. I think that this person just thinks of you as like a sweet treat. There's somebody here who thinks of you as a sweet treat. They want to have a taste. Because I was also hearing yum. <laughs> Somebody's got it pretty bad for you. I will say that. I was hearing squad. So that could be a cheer squad. Maybe you were a cheerleader or this person was a cheerleader or even police squad. So this person or you could uh, work for the police. You could be on a police squad or work in a jail or something like that. Hmm. I was hearing The Time Traveler's Wife, that movie. So that movie could have like special significance to you. Maybe you just watched that movie. Also The Notebook. So maybe these are like some of your favorite. Oops. The Notebook. Maybe these are some of your favorite movies. Castaway. <laughs> Castaway, I think that had, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his name. I know he, he moved to Greece though. He became a citizen of Greece. Is it Tom Hanks? Yeah, Tom Hanks. Okay, that's who it is. So there could be an affiliation with, you know, that movie Castaway, like maybe a love for that movie, or maybe you just watched it. Or this could have something to do with Tom Hanks, the actor, or Greece, because he did go move to Greece. I think he became a citizen, him, him and his wife. So Greece. I'm also seeing the Statue of Liberty. Some of you could live in New York. Some of you could have come here, if you're from US, you could have come here from a different country. Okay. And I mean like within the last, I don't know, decade or so, maybe you or your parents came to this country, to the US, because I was hearing that for some of you and I was seeing the Statue of Liberty. So yeah, that reminds me, I was hearing like passport. You could travel to the US if you're from a different country, maybe you travel to the US quite a bit. Cause I was definitely seeing like USA and I was hearing passport. So yeah, you or this person could be quite a traveler cause now I'm seeing like an air, an airplane, okay. So yeah. I 
heard the name Tina. That could be your name or this person, Tina. What else, Spirit? Hmm. I was hearing Armani. There's like a cologne by Armani. He's like a fashion designer too, I want to say. So, and I think he's an Italian designer. You could be into fashion. That could be that you or this person is from, you know, is somebody who enjoys fashion or, or studies fashion or is like some kind of designer. Because yeah, Giorgio Armani is a fashion designer. Or maybe this is like one of your favorite collections. You could also be a model or this person and maybe maybe you've like done some kind of, I don't know, like collaboration with fashion designers like Armani in the past or something like that. But that was definitely coming through. There could be like some kind of cologne or perfume. I don't even know if they have a perfume or cologne line, but I was hearing like, I was hearing that. So I guess I could look it up and see But I was hearing. Like if Armani sells like perfume or anything like that, um, let's see if they do. Oh yeah, they do. So they have Aqua de Gio, Gio. Oh, Aqua de Gio. Yeah. Okay. So by Armani, so you could wear Aqua de Gio for women or for men just depends that's what they say they say they have like a one that's for women and one that's for men okay as far as that goes anything else spirit Anything else you want to add, Spirit? Okay. I saw in my mind's eye, I saw somebody wearing like a witch's hat. So this could signify that, you know, you or your person, maybe you have like Wiccan beliefs or witchy vibes. Or, you know, you would say that you like that kind of witchy aesthetic. That could be. Because I was seeing also like a magic wand and that kind of thing, okay? So, witchy. And then I was seeing somebody who is a painter. You or this person who's a, who's a very artistic person. Painter painting murals or something like that. Because I was seeing somebody painting like the most beautiful murals on walls. So, oh, also I'm seeing somebody doing like graffiti art. Graffiti type of art. So that could be you or this person that is doing like graffiti type of art. I don't know if I spelled that right, but probably not. <laughs> I don't know why I was hearing this, but I was hearing Subway Surfer. So maybe that's like a game that you or this person likes to play. Subway Surfer. <laughs> oh, Street Fighter. Okay, maybe this is person is a gamer or you're a gamer because I was hearing, hearing like Subway Surfer, Street Fighter, and Borderlands. Interesting. So yeah, you or this person could... Hmm. I don't know why I was hearing this too, like Wii Sports. Maybe you like to play Wii Sports. Or this person likes to play Wii Sports. But anyways, that's what's coming through for you, my pal three. I hope that you'll head on over to the bonus segment for my subscribers as my way to say thank you to all my subscribers. It's not too late for you to join. If you're not a subscriber, all you have to do is press subscribe and I will be channeling your overall energy and we'll be talking about the compliments that the people that are crushing on you wish that they could tell you. Okay, so it'll be really great. And lots and lots of fun. If you need a personal reading, send me an email and I will send you my packages, my um, pricing and all of that. Or you can look in the description box below and book a reading for yourself. Um, it kind of helps too if you send me the email first and then 
pay because then I'll be able to send you the information with all my pricing and all that. Okay, and, and instructions on how to pay and the types of readings that I do and don't do. There's some that I, I don't do, um, such as health readings and third party types of readings. But other than do, uh, well, I can't talk. Other than that, I do a whole lot of types of readings. So check it out. And if you would like to join my Patreon, it's really fun. I have 18 plus readings on there. Plus I have added a few more tiers on there for just like general readings and live readings with me. So definitely check that out and uh, see if any of the tier levels are right for you. Check out the pricing. See if you feel that it's you know affordable i feel that there's many levels that are you know very affordable and you can choose the one that works for you all right and then if you would like to donate to my channel it's never expected but it's always appreciated and it helps me to purchase things for the channel such as tarot cards and oracle cards and little candles and stuff like that so every little bit helps the channel so i appreciate that and if you need more info on how to do that, you can look in the description box below. Hope to see you on over at the subscriber bonus. Take good care and stay beautiful. Bye. Hello and welcome to the subscribers bonus. I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to be taking a look into the person or people that are crushing on you and what are the compliments that they really wish that they could give you. So I'm going to be using these channeled message cards and just taking some out, you know, whatever spirit calls me to use and uh, whichever one spirit calls me to take out, I'm going to put them down, you know, face down and then reveal them one at a time. It's going to be so much fun and I'll be using some tarot as well. Okay, so I'm going to call in spirit before we get started. So spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my subscribers who have joined me here today, who wish to know the compliments that the crushes, that the people that have crushes on them are thinking about them and want to give them. What are the compliments, spirit? Please answer our question and please speak through me as you always do, spirit and please bring in a spirit of light, peace, positivity, and protection. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so I am just going to pick whatever that spirit really calls me to choose and put them face down, and then we will go ahead and reveal what they are. Spirit, help me to choose the correct ones that'll reveal why their crush really, really likes them what does their crush really want to say them, to them as far as compliments go? What does their crush or their people who are crushing on them really, really want to express to them? I was hearing like, get this yellow one. So I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So here's our cards. Let's go ahead and see what we've got. We've got... You are thriving, so you just kind of look like the type of person who is doing well. You're thriving, not just surviving day to day, but you seem to be thriving. So that's very attractive. Very, very attractive. You seem like you're always busy. You always have something interesting going on. That's the thing that makes you so attractive and so alluring is that you always have interesting things going on. It always seems like you're busy and you're always thinking. It's like your mind, even though you can, you know, rest your mind when you need to, you're a deep thinker, you know, and you're the kind of person that has like, like maybe your mind is always thinking about something, even at usually like when you're just at rest or whatever maybe you're always thinking <laughs> and you could have you know you can have a restful mind but I think that most people just view you as somebody who has a lot of interesting thoughts and ideas and um people see you as ambitious and they get attracted to you because you seem like the most interesting person that they really really want to get to know also People like you, your crushes like you because you seem to be the kind of person that is minding your own business. You don't really poke your nose into other people's business. Um, you try to avoid drama. You try to avoid like workplace drama or friendship drama or anything like that. Like you don't like that kind of stuff. 
and you just stay in your own lane. You know, it looks like you're the type of person that you're so focused. You're really a high value person because you're so focused on your own goals and stuff that it's just like you're looking at your own goals and like nothing else is really going to get in your way or, you know, you're not concerned if somebody else isn't doing what, you know, I guess you're not concerned of like about what other people are doing. You're more just concerned on reaching your goals and things like that. You're very ambitious and driven. And I'm seeing like the little goat, the mountain going, going up the mountain, the mountain goat going up that hill, like the Capricorn mountain goat. And I really do think that this is symbolic of you working hard, just like every day, you know, doing what you need to do. You're fair. So you're somebody who people think, like I said, like, you know, I think of Libra energy, but I think of somebody who's just very fair. You don't like to get involved with drama, fighting, taking sides or anything like that. You look younger than your actual age, and this is very appealing too. Also, the fact that you seem to be somebody who's great with animals. It's like you have a heart that animals love and cherish, and you're like a, a safe haven for animals, so people respect this about you, and they actually like it that, you know, they can trust you because your animals like you. If people know that animals like you, they're more likely to trust you. You know, because you have a heart for animals and, and animals need people like you to care about them. Animals need everyone to care about them. But it's like people like you that love animals, you're really great with them. And this is what your crushes see about you. They see that you're actually a heck of a good person at the heart. They may be attracted to the outside, but also they're attracted to what you are at the heart level and what you embody. Also, you could really love fashion. So the clothes you wear makes your body look great, hugs you in all the right areas, it's flattering, and you look good. You could be a little bit edgy, okay, a little bit edgy, and I have to cover up this word here because I don't want to get flagged by uh, YouTube. Sometimes they will take your earnings away if you show certain words or say certain words in videos. Which is another reason I like my Patreon, because I because basically anything goes over there and it's kind of nice. But uh, for the sake of today's reading, if there's like some words or anything like that in here, maybe I won't be able to show them, but I will say what they basically like, what it entails. But I may have to cover some words. Okay. You have a very classic look too, like you know, classic elegance or like classic looks, you make classic looks look good, like a little black dress or an A-line skirt, pencil skirt, if you're into wearing skirts or whatever. You look good in classic colors, classic styles, and maybe you like to do like a little bit of edge or edginess with your classic look, which is which makes for a really fun and interesting twist. Like you could take something very classy or classic like a little black dress and pair like um, something edgy, maybe a black leather jacket with it or like, I don't know, something just a little bit with a little bit of an edge to it. Okay, you are super attractive, I will say that. Like I said, uh, I'm not able to say this particular word on YouTube anymore without getting penalized but and I can't even show it because the AI catches it and then it flags it so but you are very attractive okay and yes I know it's like some and sometimes I feel like the standards are getting really really ridiculous <laughs> with these with these types of you know things on YouTube but anyway it is what it is we just have to work around it right you are carrying yourself in a very beautiful way and it you exude a lot of confidence you're very alluring very seductive you're very open and people really do respond well to that because of your openness you have a big heart like i said you're, you seem carefree. You could just seem like the kind of person that you're doing your own thing. You know, you, you, 
you seem like you're you're on your way you're independent and yeah maybe you you do give off like carefree kinds of vibes you're very articulate with the way that you speak and you're able to get your point across in a very clear manner and and people find this to be highly respectable you're very smart and you could also have very full luscious lips people like to watch your lips when you're talking and you're very smart and very I want to say like alluring okay or seductive okay I know it's ridiculous that we can't show some of these words but yeah you're very smart and combined with a combustible seductiveness let's go ahead and I will use these and we'll see if we can get a little bit more information about why your crush or crushes are, you know, crushing over you and what it is as far as compliments that they want to give to you. What are the compliments they want to give to my subscribers who are curious about to know? You, you can turn a bad situation into something good. You know, with the Five of Pentacles, I think about bad luck, bad health, bad situations. So in a reading like this, where we're looking at things they actually like about you, what that tells me is that you're able to take a bad situation and almost like making, making, um, making it seem like a positive thing somehow. You can transform negative energies. You could have like a lot of scorpionic energy within you. You can take something bad and make it and turn it into something good. And like you're able to see the silver lining and things and you have a really good attitude. What I'm really getting here is that you love life and you inspire the people around you to love life too. You could have total earth angel vibes with the temperance card here. You look very angelic. You're very sweet. Yeah, so you're a very good person because we have earth angel vibes here with the temperance card that is that signifies earth earth angels so you could relate to the term earth angel hermit i think that what this means in this is that you're very illuminated and you seem to not need a lot of advice from other people but it's more like you know how to go within and get advice from your spirit guides your team of spirits angels um the creator you know whatever it is that you connect with you are you're just like somebody who who's very illuminated maybe even it seems like you're very enlightened and you're mature i'm seeing somebody who rises above all kinds of situations and you have a very elevated type of perspective. And I just noticed too that she has like a flashlight. I think that you are able to see things that other people can't see. And it's because of your great and profound um, amount of insight that you have into things. Spirit, what else? What are some other compliments? Eight of Swords, usually the Eight of Swords is for somebody who's confused, they don't know what to do, they're ignoring red flags. So I think that in this case, they think you have good judgment and that you have a lot of clarity. They think that you're the kind of person that doesn't ignore red flags. You listen to your heart. Got the Chariot here too. And Three of Pentacles. So, oh gotta cover that up <laughs> my alien head is rolling away anyways so yeah you're you're somebody who doesn't ignore red flags you have a sharp intuition about people even when you first meet people you can tell a lot from a, from just talking to somebody or just looking at a photo of them people trust your judgment you don't ignore things you address things in a very like professional way assertive way but it's not aggressive you're somebody who's really going places with the chariot chariot energy also can stand for cancerian energy so uh cancers are born 
anywhere between June 21st and July 22nd. So you could, you know, be a Cancer sign, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant too. Or just really embody that energy. And maybe that's why your crushes are very drawn to you. Because Cancerians, they like and crave, I want to say like stability, financial stability and stuff like that. They love making memories. They're very nostalgic, intuitive. They use their imaginations. They're very in touch with their emotions. They're very loving. Very, very protective of the ones they love. And they're very, very sympathetic. They can be cautious too. I think that that's why, you know, your crushes like you. Because you're not just a pretty package. You're, you're the whole package. That's what Spirit was just saying. You're not just a pretty package. You're the whole package. Which I love. I, I haven't heard that phraseology before. But I love that. Three of Pentacles is for the fact that you seem to be someone who exhibits a lot of talents that really appeals to a lot of people so your crushes think that you're super talented you could be a singer somebody who uses your voice the words you say are i want to say like important you know the words you say are important and you have a lot of gifts and talents you do have beautiful posture though i was just going to say that too you have beautiful posture and a, a, like a certain amount of like elegance to you even when you're just sitting around and you know you may be sitting around at home watching tv or something like you're is there's something about you like your body language that just seems very naturally confident and like yeah you know who you are and something about that is just very alluring to your crushes too that you know who you are you carry yourself with confidence you smile in a beautiful way like your your smile is very your smile is very contagious to others it makes other people want to smile as well and it, it uplifts people so again with like the you know what's really funny too is this woman is reminding me of so much of lana del rey with that hollywood sign oh my gosh i was hearing that song by her lust for life so definitely listen to that song lust for life and you could look like lana del rey and you may have like that pinup style as well mixed with like lana del rey vibes she's really pretty uh i'll show you a picture of her and she's one of my favorite female musicians. I really love her songs a lot. So I will show you what she looks like. But yeah, you could look like her. Maybe you like her music. But yeah, or you could be a very talented singer. And maybe this is why your crushes like you. Because you're, you have some kind of talent that gets their attention. Here's Lana Del Rey. That's what she looks like. See, isn't she pretty? So you could look like Lana Del Rey. That's how she looks recently. This is like... It looks like she did, you know, of course, if you've been... If you're a big fan of Lana Del Rey, she's had a little bit of a weight gain, but she still looks so pretty. This is her before. I would say about 10 years ago. And then, yeah, she put on a little bit of weight, but she still looks really pretty. But yeah, this is her. So you could look like that. Anyway, you have just a, a beauty about you and you have a lot of star quality too. A lot of star quality that gets people's attention. I heard too from Spirit that you captivate people's attentions very easily. Which is a true gift, Spirit is saying. It's a true gift that you can captivate and hold people's attention. And the people that are crushing on you are noticing that about you. That you you captivate people's attention. So that is what's coming through for you. I hope that you enjoyed. And thanks so much for being part of this awesome community. I'm so glad that you all are here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this. Take good care. And until next time. Bye.